Howdy y'all, Rob here with Artec Gaming, and um, I was given the question of how I do my, uh, how I launch my Z Doom, my GZ Doom with Brutal Doom Platinum 4.0 and other mods. So, first off, you go to gzdoom.com, or zdoom.org, sorry, slash downloads, and you get the latest version of GZ Doom for Windows, Macintosh, whatever version operating system you use. I use the one for Windows because I'm using Windows 10. So you download that and then you go here to Game Banana because it's the only place I can find it which is the last version of ZDoom Launcher which is 3.2.2.3 beta which worked actually really well. Worked better than the last full stable version as far as I'm concerned. You, you go basically you click here yeah, ZDoom, ZDoom Launcher 3, you download it here. This is actually, yeah, so my bad. This is the actual page you're supposed to go to. You download it and install as necessary. And once you've done that, let's cl close that out, you load ZDoom Beta, or ZDoom Launcher Beta. Now we're going to first set up the port settings. I have two different GZ, or GZ Dooms because there's an old version of uh, Brutal Doom Black I sometimes play on my own that that will only work with 4.5 and lower. And then there's GZ Doom 4.0 or 4.11. So you'd add all your IWAD files just like you go browse and you know you'd have a folder full of them right here. And you'd click each one, you'd name it and put it in like mine's Doom, Doom 2, Plutonia, TNT, Free Doom 1, Free Doom 2. Which by the way that's something that I got into one point it was pretty cool. I thought the Free Doom levels were pretty interesting. So anyways, to add a source port engine you'd go add and we're just gonna say GZ Doom 4.11 and then browse for the extension my case, my folder's kind of a, a mess, so my original launcher, by the way, that I used to use years ago was Doom Legacy, and I've just been really super lazy. I've been using the same Doom Legacy folder since uh, 1999. <laughs> so I have it installed here, and then you pick this .exe file and then hit open, and boom, you've got it all set up right there. Now you have your source port and you have your IWAD set up. Now you go to add your files. And in this case, I'm going to use Doom 1, just, just for simplicity's sake. Sorry, I, I'm shrinking that down a bit. Okay, so add. We're going to go with my Brutal Doom. Yeah, I've got a lot of old files in here that I really need to go through. I need to clean up my installation at some point. I'm trying to remember where did I put it. I think I put it in the PWADs folder too. Like I do everything else. That's right, it's Brutal Doom. In my case, it's Brutal Doom main. And if you get any zip files, Notice that uh, I have things that have PK3 at the end. You'll want to rename the zip file from .zip to .pk3. Reason being is it works better with PK3s. Also make sure that uh, you look in the zip file. If you see a PK3 file in the zip file, pull the, the PK3 out. Anyways, so, okay, so say you want to add the uh, HUD for Phyllis Noctis's HXRT's CHUD. Well, you just do that, and I'm going to, let's see, I want some custom music on this, so Doom Metal Wad 7, and there you go, and then you just launch, and boom. Now, you may have to do some setup in the beginning, because every time I've changed it, I've had to at least put these in there 
go to my go to search options and you'll want to turn simple option menu off as soon as you do it because you want all your options available then you go to option search and say crouch always on jump because I like having jump I like being able to jump it doesn't make the game any easier really except for you know you save yourself from certain traps if they're not too deep because there's some traps I think are bullshit but you know anyways now in this case I have three things I've unlocked called stay frosty Mjolnir and man and a half this is only with 4.0 basically stay frosty tactical mode stamina recoil and more uh, Mjolnir permanent energy armor power up this gives you a little bit of a, of a armor buff making it a little bit easier man and a half basically you start every level berserk and that's important for me and my play style so confirm I'm gonna just say knee deep in the dead ultra violence And voila, you have a perfect working version of Doom playing on your machine. It's just that simple. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot to add that one add-on. But right now, yeah, the uh, the vampy add-on, I forgot to add that in. But I just wanted to get it working, basically. I hope this tells you guys how to do it. going to clear this level before I continue. Okay, do I have everything? Oh, I still I gotta get the rest of the uh, health, uh, health pickups. to finish this map off may be considered a dick move. Oh, 
I'm gonna look that fucker in the eye. <laughs> Alrighty. And that ends that level. Now, I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to show you a couple little other tricks you can do. Now say you want to uh, load up a custom map. Well, you'll want, Bru you'll want Brutal Doom Platinum in the HUD at the very least at the very beginning. So let's say, hmm, what do I want to load up? Let's load Arcadia and the zip files usually are okay. I think. Naval all. Okay. Now notice how it didn't work. I might not have picked the right Doom file. So go to Doom 2 and then launch it. And if it still ain't working... There we go. See, you got to make sure. You see, you got to make sure that you load them properly in the right order, and you also have to make sure that it's all good. Now, notice that the music on this has been canceled out. It's not using the Doom Metal mod. I don't think it is. That motherfucker's somewhere. I got him. So, okay, so we're going to get out of that. And that's just one thing you can do. Load ZDL. And there's like the one for Doom 64 that I use, which is basically just this which has my QD, QCDE playlist, which I'll have to, I guess, do a little uh, show and tell on how I did that. But for now, we'll launch it, usually using Doom 2 because it works better that way. And this is the only one with its own custom loadup. And we'll do bonus fun maps. Cat and Mouse, Title Map, Hardcore, Playground, Test Facility. There we go. But yeah, you get you get it now, right though? And that's why I like ZDoom Launcher to do this, because I can load up any kind of number of mods. There are others that will limit how many you could do. There's some that, that, that get, make it really asinine and difficult to try and work with. And in this case, you have all these options. You can load up as many as you can get away with. I would not recommend, though, going into those extremes, but 
So that should tell you pretty much what you need to know to run uh, Rudal Doom Platinum 4.0 using ZDoom Launcher. Because I said this is the easiest way, and as long as you have your load order set up appropriately, you should be fine. Anyways, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care.